Hey guys, so I've been driving for about five and a half uh, hours now. I have about six more hours to go. I just made it to Amarillo, Texas, where believe it or not, it's actually snowing. So I guess that's a good trip for, or a good uh, omen for a ski trip. Um, so I guess this really has been a winter or fuel economy torture test for my BMW 328D because its fuel economy has been absolutely appalling. Like I thought it would be worse with these tires and the roof racks, but it's actually, I can't believe how bad it's been. Um, so per the trip computer, I got 24.1 miles per gallon for that first leg, which was about 360 miles. And then for my manual calculation, I got 25 miles per gallon, which I started at an elevation of about 750 feet and I think that last time I checked it was like 1600 or 1800 feet so went up about a thousand feet in elevation and was fighting a northwest wind the entire time which I was heading northwest. Uh, it started out at 22 miles per hour in Dallas Fort Worth and then when I got here to Amarillo it's I think it said it was about 12 or 13 miles per hour so I'm heading uphill into the wind but still I, 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 I'm just shocked. Um, I guess that shows how important uh, drag coefficient aerodynamics are to fuel economy because when I don't have my roof racks on, I get about 38 miles a gallon usually. So I was expecting to lose maybe 10 or 15%, but not that much. So I guess I, uh, when I said I only need to fill up six times for this trip, it was a little bit Hey guys, just made my second stop for fuel. Uh, about, I don't know, like 60 miles outside of Denver or so. Uh, this one went a little bit better. Um, not really sure why. But this one, I think we're at like 6,000 feet now. So I did more climbing this time. Speed limits were a little lower, but people were driving just as fast. So I have no clue. Maybe it was the wind. I haven't really checked the wind. It seems to have died down a little bit. But anyways, I got 27 by the car's calculation and 28 by my manual calculation. I did another 340 miles. Um, so it's probably my last update of the day. Picking my dad up in Denver and then heading to Aspen. So. So the drive-in last night over the Continental Divide, my, in, it was minus 10 and snowing, and it might have been after 15 hours of driving, it was one of the worst drives of my life. There were so many cars and crazy hills, uh, descents and ascents and twists and turns. White knuckle driving, and now it's currently minus five degrees out, and my car was not plugged into a block heater, so let's see if this cold diesel will start. I think it started on about one cylinder, but at least it's running.
So as you guys can see, I ended up in the BMW dealership in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, actually, you saw the pictures of Arches National Park. When I was in Arches National Park, it's the first time the check engine light came on uh, for that code that I showed uh, in the video, which was a turbo pressure boost sensor circuit A failure. I thought it was just an electrical gremlin or hiccup with a wastegate or whatever, so I just reset the code. It went out of limp mode. And I was actually to keep, able to keep driving uh, for most of the journey. A few hiccups here and there. I was able to reset, and then when we left Telluride, that's when it got uh, real bad, and it just wouldn't come out of limp mode. And it was kind of unfortunate because there were so many hills on the drive, so it was like the longest drive. Uh, from there to Albuquerque even though it was only supposed to be like three hours or so it ended up taking us like five hours because it couldn't go more than 55 miles an hour and then every time you went uphill you were down to like 30 because the car just had no power. Um, got to Albuquerque and found out that it wasn't actually the sensor that the waste tur or not the waste gate the exhaust gas recirculation valve had failed open and that had was what damaged that sensor. It also plugged up the intake and plugged up the diesel particulate filter. Um, so yeah, kind of unfortunate. It was an amazing vacation, an amazing trip, kind of a lackluster ending to it. Um, but I guess um, that's what you get for owning the ultimate driving machine and not the ultimate reliability machine. <laughs> but um, like I said, it was a great journey. The people that at the dealership there in Albuquerque were great to us. They got us a rental car uh, right to the dealership. So able to leave and get back home. It was kind of unfortunate because I had to fly back out there and pick up the car at a later date. But oh well, such is life. Uh, so that brings me to the grand totals from my video. Uh, so I actually included the eighth tank when I went back to pick up my car and then drove it home. Uh, so for that one, which was kind of between Telluride and this place in Texas that I filled up, uh, it was 36.47 by my manual calculation and then 37.1 uh, per the car's readout. And then, so the grand totals for the entire trip um, combined by calculation was 31.4 miles per gallon, or that equates to 7.49 liters per 100K uh, for all your metric folk out there. And then the combined by the car uh, was 30.72 miles per gallon, or 7.65 liters per 100K, which I think was pretty good. Um, given the circumstances of winter tires, ski racks, roof racks, and pretty much driving in the snow the entire time at altitude. Um, I don't think any all wheel drive car would do better than that, but I don't know. Um, I honestly thought I was gonna do a little bit better because normally my combined driving at home is about 37.5, 38 miles per gallon with combined city and highway driving I do when I commute to work. And then uh, when I've done road trips before, I've got upwards of like 42 miles per gallon for the whole trip. So I was kind of hoping to do a little bit better, but uh, I'm happy with how it turned out. My goal was to do the trip on six tanks, which it ended up being eight. Um, so a little disappointed there, but I did fill up sometimes uh, way before the tank was empty just because I didn't know where all the gas stations were going to be. Um, but still eight, eight tanks for 3,000 miles. Actually, it was way more than 3,000 miles with all the driving I did in between places. I think that's pretty good. Um, I was happy with the, happy with the results. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, it was an amazing trip and um, I did my best to try and capture it for you guys. Uh, so I hope you liked it. If you uh, liked it and you wanna see more, then make sure you guys like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a good day. See you next time.